Egyptian goose and this buff owl was busy chasing them away. Something was caught you last night. To see the dunya. Quite a feast, yeah. It's really fresh still. This could still be in the in the morning hours. Let's see if we can find it. I think it was a leopard catching it and then it was all kinds of different predators and scavengers like jackal, caracal, nothing left. Probably hyena as well because it's very fresh and to finish it I mean, this is this morning. There's a little bush bug around here. Let's see if I can stalk him a little bit. They are very shy. Mm -hmm.
He's got quite a big house for himself. And look at this tree. It's an honor tree. They go really big along the banks of the Limpopo. This area boosts such a healthy ecosystem. There's so much life here from thousands of different species of insects, scorpions, spiders, snakes, small mammals, all the wildlife, the game. Uh, there's just so much here. Got about 15 meters away from him, but walking in this, it's very difficult to be quiet. Luckily he couldn't see me, so he was bewildered and uh, eventually took off. Everybody's having brunch and I'm gonna do the same. I think I'm going to another area where there's an open valley and there's some water. And I'm thinking they must maybe wait here somewhere. I know there's a lot of impala that come and drink here. And I know there's also a bachelor herd of a, a lot of good rams also drinking here late morning.
short shot. The wind's blowing a bit strong for a neck shot. And it looks like his front leg's broken. I might have hit him a little bit to the right. There is no way I can track this ram between all these thousands of tracks here of impala and all kinds of other antelope. It's almost no, you can't even see a track of them standing here just now. Well, he's down. What a beautiful ram. Huge body, beautiful horns. He only ran for about 50 meters. And man, am I happy he didn't go further than this. Oh. Up here, look at this. Beautiful horns. What a beautiful trophy. This is our own world in Palo. I'm sure of that. I was tracking the whole morning in Palo and also yesterday. I went through quite a few herds, stalking them. Couldn't get in a, a clear shot. After, after a couple of weeks, I've realized that there is a, a bachelor herd of Impala, about 15 of them, that came into this specific spot um, here in the valley where there's a little bit of water. And then every morning, around about 10, 11 o'clock, I see them ran out of this valley. And I haven't even waited for 30 minutes when this bachelor herd came in. They were very tense, there's a lot of birds, especially the Egyptian goose, just left every now and then and then came back. But they were very tense and also the spur fell here next to the river. But I got a shot in on this ram. Uh, the wind was blowing quite strongly this morning. And I decided not to take a neck shot, but uh, instead went for the heart. After the shot, I saw that uh, its front leg was broken. And uh, I was afraid that I maybe uh, pulled the shot a little bit to the right, uh, went through the heart. I found the ram about 50 meters away. So um, I was really relieved. And as you can see, it's a really large bodied Limpopo ram this. And it's a beautiful trophy as well. Very thick bases, long horns, about 24 and a half, maybe 25 inches. So it's a Roman Ward um, Impala. It is now day 28 of the COVID-19 lockdown here in South Africa. Luckily, all of the Impala I've shot so far um, in this in this lockdown was one-shot kills. So I'm glad, and I hope that streak will continue. Oh, look at this water. I haven't even realized there's water. So after this hunt this morning, I decided to have a little bush pry tonight and prepare myself some of the fillet of the impala I shot this morning. And I chose this spot. It's a little hidden spot with some water. It's in a valley and uh, there's a lot of leadwood trees around me. So there's a lot of firewood. So I'm going to spend the night here. And um, what I want to do uh, with the fillet is I took some of the coal fat I want to prepare the fillet in the coal fat so here I've got the two fillets of the ram and the coal fat I'm going to cut the fillet a little bit open like this there you go I want to add a little bit of salt again my usual mix because it's still the COVID-19 lockdown I think it's day 28 or something so still the same spices, some steak and chops, black pepper, a lot of black pepper, I just love black pepper, especially with game. 
and I want to put a little butter in the in the fillet not too much because the cold fat's really fat this ram was the fattest ram I've shot so far this month I've shot this ram in a bachelor hood of about 16 rams and as far as I could see he was the biggest of them in terms of body size the cold fat's a little bit cold now so it's not very flexible but I'm gonna try it anyways there you go oh I forgot I want to add a little Worcestershire sauce. Mm. So I've got one large potato and a fillet. But I'm only going to eat one tonight, that will be enough for me. So the other one, I'm going to save that one for later in the week. So while I'm waiting for the fire, for the coals to get ready, I'm going to walk around and shoot some game bird and I made sure that there's no grass or anything close to the fire there's no wind and as you can see there's a water there's water behind the fire so the fire can't spread I'm just gonna leave it here 